playing. So many mere galvanizers. So little time. Or barbed battle gear, maybe. Start swinging with crazy flyers that do lots of damage. Don't really have enough mirror to make the galvanizer good. The trick it mages on the weak side with only having one low cost artifact. I think Battle Gear is totally the stuff here. It's either that or a Boon Acolyte, but I think Battle Gear is way more powerful. Current Effects Demon. Tumble Magnet, Golem Artisan, Palladium Gear. This is good stuff. I think Artisan is the way to go here. It gives people all sorts of random things. And I have many manas to spend things on. My removal is really light, so the other tumble magnet's also tempting. But I think the artisan is the way to go. This is gonna be high powered decks. This is just crazy. Sky Eagle School or another Glinthawk? Probably the Glinthawk. Super cheap, cycle stuff. Probably the Glenhawk. Bladed Pinions. This is going to be a nasty game. <laughs> These are good cards going by. Snapsail Glider. Oh, the Sun Spear, and I've got two equipments. Hmm, doesn't seem like quite enough to make the Sun Spear good, but she becomes crazy with Bar Battle here. That's what I hate about playing those cards. You, maybe you get the count, the combo, maybe you don't. But I have the thing to dig for the shield at least, so she could be two five lifelink, vigilant. More Snapsail Glider. I don't feel super metal crafty, to be honest. And I've got plenty of flying action. Trigon of Corruption could get proliferated. It's removal. This is a tough one. I have enough creatures, right? Oh, freak me. I should have taken the Trigon. Oh, well. Should have taken the Trigon, I think. Lumen Grid Drake, Flight Spell Bomb. Probably the Flight Spell Bomb. I don't have enough Metalcraft action to really be bouncing regularly. Another gear for my chick that I probably won't get to play. That I should have taken the track on the corruption for. That I could have been bouncing multiple times. That was definitely the pick. That was not. I, with five more seconds, I would have made the right pick there. <sighs> okay. Rise above it. If any of this is even getting played at this point, my stuff is too good. Bounce this a bunch, can win off of that, which is nice. Probably won't play it at this point. Did I get a steady progress yet? Not playing any of this, I'll just take the kind of annoying card. This is sideboard handy. This could get played. 
You're kind of annoying. Pfft, whatever. You're kind of annoying. This is going to be an interesting deck to build. <laughs> Too many cards. One Trigon of Corruption short of greatness. Really interesting. Kind of expensive. It's going to be hard to narrow it down. Usually I have like just enough cards where I'm like choosing between two or three cards. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm probably not playing him. Got too much non of artifacts. So keep to the core artifacts here, I think. Go just blue white with a couple artifacts. Mirror, tumble magnet, shield. Okay, get the for sure things in. Well, I might not even play him. Probably. So much for no artifacts. Low on creatures, this didn't work out well, did it? Maybe I should be playing the Gama's Warden? Let's see, I've got two mirror. Should I go to 24? I do have a lot of artifacts after all, so I probably should play him. This is not the most controlling deck. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Doesn't seem the most... I don't know. Two Glithawks can win anything. So not used to not having red removal to fall back on. How does this win? Neuroc Invisimancer doesn't have any big tough dudes at all. The highest swing is like for two. I didn't pick up any Sky Eel schools, I guess. The highest swing is a three. Just has to sort of pick away at him in fairly quick fashion. Maybe Bar Battle Gear will get me there. Only 14 creatures, too. No, let's see. Looks decent. Tons of double white. I need white for my Glint Hawk idol too, probably. I've got two white mirrors, so let's store off the replay. Store off the recording. And see you soon.